Hello everybody, it's meteorologist Jacob Campbell here with your Weather Now forecast. So before I get into it, uh, I would like to ask you all to please like, comment, and subscribe if you do enjoy my content. And uh, also check out my social media in the description below. Sometimes when I'm not able to make a video, I will post some updates, on, especially on Twitter. Um, and I'm also getting uh, my website going, which is also in the description. It doesn't have a whole lot on it now, but it will have quite a bit later on. So going right into it, we are talking about Winter Storm Aubrey right now. So this winter storm, which is a very major one, could bring blizzard-like conditions, but we'll get into that a little later. Um, currently, these are the winter storm watches, warnings, freeze watches, warnings, hard freeze warnings, and special weather statements um, associated with winter storm Aubrey. We have a very large area of winter storm warnings stretching all the way from Montana over to North Dakota, um, and then stretching as far south as Wyoming and Nebraska as well as a winter storm watch stretching up from South Dakota all the way up to northern uh, Minnesota. Winter weather advisory in the more northern areas where the snow is moving out of, as well as in some of these southern areas bordering uh, the winter storm warning where they're not expecting to get as much snow. And then to the south of this, we have some freeze warnings, some freeze watches, and hard freeze warnings just to kind of detail you know, a little of the cold air that's behind this low pressure system all of the air channeling in from canada um, really bringing some frigid temperatures to some of these states taking a look at uh, future track radar we do see that a lot of the snow right now is is um, focused in uh, montana parts of wyoming just a little bit there in, in idaho as well as in parts of uh, North Dakota, some freezing rain and some mixed precip there bordering uh, the area between, uh, you know, rain uh, to the east and then snow to the west. So we'll get into this now. We see that it continues to push off to the east and it will intensify as well as it brings that really defined band of mixed precip or ice. If that is ice, that is some bad news for some people in uh, parts of Nebraska, parts of South Dakota, and parts of North Dakota. We also see that this will begin to intensify as it pushes to the north, and if it does, it will bring some very heavy snow totals, which we'll get into uh, right about now. So, we see these bands. We've got a zero to three inch band that's stretching all the way from parts of Idaho where we are seeing snow currently all the way east into portions of Minnesota, uh, Wisconsin, and even just a little sliver there of the upper peninsula of Michigan. Then we have a three to six uh, inch band stretching from Idaho over to Minnesota, not quite pushing into Wisconsin or Michigan. Um, and then we have the 6 to 36 inch bands, which I know it's broken down, but that just shows you how much this is supposed to intensify as it pushes out. Um, it's going to bring some very, very heavy snow to parts of northern uh, North Dakota with that 24 to 36 inch band. Now that's dependent upon that low pressure system intensifying, which we believe it will, but we uh, have yet to see whether that will happen or not. There's still a little uncertainty about that. Then there's this 18 to 24 inch band um, that pushes into more northern portions of South Dakota and takes up a great majority of um, central North Dakota as well as, and I couldn't fit the text in there, but there is a, uh, a 12 to 18 inch band um, in that slightly darker purple. Uh, in parts of uh, North Dakota and South Dakota, more northern areas of South Dakota. And then we have that 8 to 12 inch band that pushes into quite a bit of west central South Dakota. So this will be a very large snowmaker. Um, taking a look at temperatures right now, we see that there is just this massive amount of cold air off to the west and to the north that's pushing in from Canada. And we can just see that kind of... Uh, um, intensify as we get into the early morning hours of Thursday. More mountainous regions will see temperatures nearing zero degrees Fahrenheit, which is very, very frigid for uh, October. And then the plains surrounding the Rocky Mountains will see temperatures in the 20s and the 30s, um, even stretching as far down as Arizona and New Mexico will see temperatures 
uh, really hovering around that 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 twenty mid twenties to mid thirty degree mark, uh, which is uncalled for for October. And then we also have the strong cold front that will bring uh, enhanced chances for severe storms. Not an enhanced risk, but but greater chances for severe storms to the Great Plains. But we're going to be focusing on um, Winter Storm Aubrey, the actual winter portion of it, as opposed to the severe storm portion of it. So with that being said, we are now going to go over here and let me switch my windows really quickly. Here we are. We're going to take a look at the weather models associated with this. So we're currently looking at the 500 millibar geopotential height. And so where you see the troughs in this geopotential height, that is your low pressure system. And where you see ridges, which there aren't any like really pronounced ridges, maybe here in the Great Lakes um, and off the East Coast, there's a slight ridge there. Those are areas of high pressure. And then these areas in between where the uh, geopotential height is, is really scrunched up together, those are your fronts. So we have a cold front right, right here. Um, and this cold front will extend down into Thursday. It will, you can see where it's going. It's pushing down from uh, North Dakota and then all the way south here uh, with this area of low pressure intensifying. And we see that intensify even more. Now this blue line right here, this 540, um, this 540 uh, meters height, this line right here is what's known in the meteorological community as a uh it's the snow it's it's basically the snow height so when you see this you definitely have snow now if it's not there it doesn't necessarily mean that you won't have snow but if it is there that's a pretty sure sign that you are going to get some snow in these areas so that is a result of this low pressure system here intensifying and so as it does, you will see um, much more snowfall uh, in the North Dakota and South Dakota areas, as well as an increased risk for wind. Looking at the 500 millibar winds, we do see that uh, aloft, these winds are intensifying, which also signifies uh, your... So basically that, that just also helps back up the fact that surface winds are going to intensify as well. Um, and so looking at the definition of a blizzard here by uh, the National Weather Service, it is an area which these conditions have to extend for three hours or longer. Sustained winds or frequent gusts um, are up to 35 miles an hour or greater, and it also has to have um, visibility reduced to less than a quarter of a mile. Uh, due to blowing snow or falling snow. So you could have a blizzard and not have any new snow falling, uh, or you could have a blizzard where new snow is falling. It just, it, you need to have uh, 35 mile per hour winds or greater and visibility reduced to less than quarter of a mile. So taking a look at the winds here, um, we see that here Friday night uh, for an area of about, four or five hours, we do have just this slight area where it's about 40 knots, which 40 knots is about, uh, it's around 50 mile per hour wind gusts. And so if this does come, uh, it could mean blizzard like conditions. Now, with that being said, I've also got visibility pulled up here. And so we do have areas Friday night where the visibility is getting down into the one mile to half mile area. So if it does go below a quarter of a mile, you could potentially see blizzard uh, blizzard warnings for parts of North Dakota. So far, the visibility predictions aren't there yet, but the wind predictions definitely are. So this could be a money maker when it comes down to um, when it comes down to uh, uh, um, snow, but not necessarily when it comes down to visibility and wind. By the way, so. With that being said, I hope that you all enjoyed. If you live in the path of uh, Winter Storm Aubrey, please stay safe. Um, this will be a significant snow event, so definitely get your, you know, um, get your uh, uh, milk and bread and whatnot prepared because some of these areas in northern North Dakota and parts of northern South Dakota will be put under a significant amount of snow. So with that being said, I hope that you all enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Have a good one.